Good afternoon. I am at the Velisca Axe Murder House in, of course, Velisca, Iowa. And I'm doing just a day tour of the house. And I'm going to give you a walkthrough both on the outside and the inside. And we'll start with the front, of course. Today is July 5th, 2016. Warm and muggy. Temperature is probably low 90s. Over here we have the barn. Where you check in for your day tour or your overnight visit. structures back here. One is a chicken coop on the left. The other is an old outhouse on the right. And this here is some kind of a sitting area decorated with vines. Back of the house. And we'll go back around to the front once more. The window on the left is the blue room that Lena and Ina Stillinger occupied on that night of the murders. And the one on the right is the living room. The sign is newer, it's a couple of years old. And they also added on a small parking lot. Holds about four or five vehicles. This goes down to the cellar, of course. Really not too much down there. So I'm gonna shut this. This door is a little rickety. We'll 
go inside. We are now, of course, in the kitchen. Now we are entering the parlor. Sarah and Josiah with two of their children. going to enter what's called the blue room. This is the room that Lena and Ina Stillinger had occupied the night of the murders and of course had sadly lost, lost their lives. That is the entry door to the house, of course, and that is the only door that you can enter or leave. This is the pantry. They made a lot of nice improvements, newer paint in the kitchen, the hallway going up. Going upstairs to the second floor. And at the top of the stairs, you are immediately in what was Sarah and Josiah's bedroom. The noise you hear in the background is the air conditioner. I will now explain why the mirrors were covered up. It was 
due to the killer's belief that it was his superstition that if you did something evil and you knew it was evil, you couldn't look at yourself in a mirror. So he covered all the mirrors in the house and all the windows as well. And this up here is supposedly an ax mark. And in a way it would make sense because Josiah, who was on the side of the bed right here, closest to the dresser, was hit with the sharp end of the ax. He was the only one to be killed with the sharp end of the ax. And that would make sense because that looks like an indentation from an axe blade on the back side of the blade. Everybody else, from all accounts, were hit and killed with the blunt side of the axe. Sarah was on that side of the bed. And she was killed with the blunt side of the axe. This is the Moore children's bedroom. This is the room they occupied the night of the murders. And they, of course, too, sadly lost their lives. toys and other items that guests of the house have left. Here's the closet. Not much in here really. This, of course, is the attic. I am not going to enter it. I'll just give you a shot of what it looks like. Supposedly, this is where, in all likelihood, that the killer had hid and waited for the Moors and the two overnight guests, Lena and Ina Stillinger, to come home from church that Sunday night. Heading back downstairs.
Go through the parlor one more time. Go through the blue room once more. Pantry again. We'll go back upstairs one more time. Sarah and Josiah's bedroom. and the bedroom at the four more children had occupied. Sarah Moore with two of her children. I'm not sure who they are, I keep forgetting. But anyway, I'd highly recommend a trip to this house. Whether or not you're interested in the paranormal or the historical part of the house, it can be a very moving experience. Thanks for watching this video.